Well, hey there, you know what time it is. It is time for Tuesday's tip. A tip that will help save you time, save you money, or make you a better artist. If we haven't met yet, I'm Viv. I'm the founder of Art with Viv. And on this Tuesday's tip, I'm gonna show you how to paint these sweet little bunnies since Easter is coming up. Quick, easy, let's just hop to it. <laughs> All right, I've already sketched out the bunny rabbit. I have a chocolatey brown mixture and I'm gonna wet the bunny rabbit's ears. I'm leaving a small area because I'm gonna come back and put that the little pink of his ears in there. I'm using a number four brush right now on this part. I'm just dropping in that color and then I'm just gonna clean up around the edges. And then I'm just putting in a little extra pigment where I want it to be just a little bit darker. We're gonna wet that second bunny ear, do the same exact thing, drop in that brown pigment. And where I want it to be a little bit darker, I'm going to add a little bit more of the brown. And this time I've switched to my number two brush. It's a little bit finer because I just want this to go into certain spots. And, and I'm letting the color vary. I'll have some light and some dark. I don't want it to be a solid brown. I want it to have some lights and darks so that it'll give it a little idea of dimension. Now I'm going to paint his little nose with some clear water and then I'm just dropping in that chocolate and letting the water pull it up across the top of his little nose. I'm trying to keep it darker at the tip of his nose. Then we're going to paint in his eyes and we're leaving a small white dot for the highlight. Getting that upper lid and that bottom lid with just the very tip of the brush. Then we're gonna do his front and back feet. Again, just clear water. This is really a simple bunny rabbit. Anyone can do this. And then we're just dropping, you're only using three colors at that. You just drop in that brown and let the water um, pull it up, make it a little darker at the tips of his toes, a little lighter up the leg as it's fading. And here I just wanna, um, define the, uh, the lower lashes just a little bit on the bunny rabbit. Now we'll start on the second bunny. We're going to do the same exact thing. This is the simplest bunnies you could ever paint, probably. Well, pretty close to the simplest. Again, we're just doing the water, the clear water. We're dropping in the brown. We're leaving on the ear facing us. We're leaving a little uh, white space because we're going to come back in there and make it pink. Then we're going to do his front paw that he is starting to lick. He's licking his little front paw and we're just going to drop in that brown. Now we're going to do his back paw the same exact way. Put in the clear water and just drop in that dark chocolatey brown paint that we've mixed. And we've used a um, blue and a brown to get that chocolatey brown. Again, with his eye, just like the other eye, we're gonna go across the top, lashes, and then we're gonna come down into the actual eye in the little rounded area, and we are gonna leave a tiny white dot for the highlight, just to give our little bunny some life. And remember not to paint it all a solid brown. Don't paint his ears a solid brown. Leave some lighter um, some lighter brown so that it gives the illusion of a three-dimensional ear. Also with the eye, you might want to make it a little darker toward the top lashes and let it fade a little lighter as it goes down toward the bottom lashes. Now on this, now I am just applying just a tiny bit of the brown right to the tip of the second bunny's nose. I didn't even wet it first. I just put the brown on a really weak mixture really watery mixture and add a little bit more blue to the tip just to make it darker. Now I'm just blotting up a little bit of that excess right at the top of his nose and again leaving the very tip darker. Now it's pretty dry so I'm going to take my number two brush and I'm just going to add some pink into his little ears. I'm 
making sure that I'm not touching the brown so they don't bleed together. I'm just swashing it right into the edges of those ears and not touching the brown. Now I'm just taking that red color, that pink color, and the blue color, mixing it together to make sort of a purpley, lavender, shadowy color. Since our bunny is white, we are going to make his shadows be bluish purple. And that will define him. We're not going to go into a lot of detail because this is a simple bunny. I don't want to make it too complicated for you. It's really simple. Remember, you can stop, pause the video where you need to, re-watch it if you need to. And um, you'll have some really sweet bunnies at the end of this. So I've just put in the shadows of where his legs would be, the shadow of his ears, and on his tummy. And I'm just blending that out with the tip of my brush. I'm going to do the same thing to the other bunny right around where I have the outline drawing. I'm making the shadows right under his arm, under his chin, and around his face, a little bit under his eye, right behind his ear. Darkening it up by adding a little bit more of the paint. And just really um, smoothing that out and just going along the shapes that I've got the outline. You can't see it because it's behind the art with Viv, but I'm just giving him a shadow on his undercarriage back there, just like I did on the other bunny. So there you have it. Really easy. Let's do something about those little tails. Let's go ahead and make them brown too. Even though they might be white, but we're making ours brown. We wet it first and just drop in the chocolate mixture and make sure that it looks fuzzy. Don't make it an even round circle on there. Pat it around, make it look like it has some texture. And there you go. You have two really, really sweet bunnies. Now, if you want to get the free outline drawing and a supply list for the spring bunnies, just visit my blog at www.artwithviv.com forward slash blog forward slash spring dash bunny dash tutorial. Hope to see you there.